Hi guys. I wanted to bring to you a book that I just uh, picked up on one of my recent visits to Books A Million, which is, uh, <laughs> might as well be a second home for me. I love Books A Million. Used to love Barnes & Noble, but now I really love Books A Million. But that's a whole nother story. But anyway, um, you know, of course with many interests, I love to read. Like I'm sure a lot of you guys love to read. And um, I also write. Um, not as often as I should, but I write. So, I picked up this book, um, and it's actually a book um, that's included and is recommended read by Essence Book Club. And the name of it is The Tempest Tales by Walter Mosley. And you guys, a lot of you guys probably already know all about Mr. Mosley. He um, normally writes like mysteries. Uh, he had, uh, I think it's Devil in a Blue Dress that uh, actually was a movie and Denzel played in it. But um, I picked it up and I hadn't heard anything about it, but I was just looking for something to read, especially with me being on vacation this week. I just wanted something good to read. And so I uh, read the back of the book, of course, but then I read um, the first paragraph of the book and I said, okay, that, that'll do just fine. And so I'm going to share that first paragraph with you guys. And if you're interested in what you hear, why don't you pick it up um, and read it and maybe we can um, have like a, a YouTube type discussion or just share our thoughts on what we thought about the book. But um, anyway, and I'm always having music on it. I always have music on. But um, anyway, this is how the, the book begins. Life and Death. Tempest Landry didn't see himself as a bad man. He had a wife whom he loved, a steady girlfriend who loved him passionately, and various women on the side. All in all, he had 14 children, which was impressive because he was only 34 years old when he died. Okay, see? So, I said, okay, that's, that's, yeah. So, um, check it out. See if you like it. Uh, this, the second paragraph is even better. That was just the first. Okay, let me just give you the second paragraph, okay? Not a thief by nature. He would pick up a dollar tip if it was lying on a table and no one was looking. If there was a key in a door, he'd turn the lock to see what was on the other side. If a man was selling anything from steak knives to steaks on the corner, he would not ask for a vendor's license if the street salesman didn't charge tax. Tempest loafed when he could and worked when he had to. He remembered his wife's anniversary and the birthdays of all his children and girlfriends. And though he had been arrested on various occasions, he had never been convicted of a felony, nor had he spent more than a week in jail. Tempest wasn't ashamed of his history, but neither was he the victim of pride. He had been in seven serious fights since the age of 14, and though some blood had been shed, no one had died. He was always courteous with the policemen, and so in the last few seconds of his life, he was miffed that they could shoot him down the way they did when he had never so much as used the F word. Okay. I'll continue to share, just, and I won't keep reading y'all, but, you know, I'll continue just to share feedback on the book, because I predict I'll get through this book rather quickly. Again, I am off this week, um, but my daughter, I am, I have a four-year-old daughter, my daughter will be going to daycare. My husband has to work, so it's all about me this week. So tomorrow, I plan to, after everybody's off and on their way, I plan to take this book and go down to one of our Starbucks, hopefully get my favorite chair in the bay window with my drink of choice, and just kick back, probably take my iPod so I can have the right kind of music in my ear, and um, I may read this in one setting, but if not, I'll just keep y'all posted. But anyway, if you love to read like I do, and if that sounds interesting to you, just go check it out, okay? Peace.